All right, this is for a student who has a tendency to slide from the top of their backswing. So I always kind of put golfers in one of two things. You're either going to be a slider, a lateral mover, or you're going to be a rotator, somebody who can actually rotate a lot. So depending upon which one of these you naturally start out at being, you want to really work hard on the other. So this player is a slider. They get to the top, the hip and body starts sliding forward, causing a lot of that early extension in the downswing. So what we're gonna work on is feeling rotation. And what I wanna feel is I wanna feel my lead foot, toes come off the ground and turn. This is gonna give me an exaggerated feel of rotating my hips, rotating my body as I start my downswing. Someone who's a lateral mover is not gonna have problems putting pressure onto that front foot. They're gonna be able to put pressure, but then they're not gonna rotate. So the drill here is, is to feel rotation, lift those toes up immediately, feel those hips one unwind on the way through, then we'll get into the pressure and rotate, pressure and rotate, and then we can get into that full swing. Really trying to feel for the people who are sliders, that exaggerated early rotation or spinning of the body. And this of course is true or the opposite for people who are rotators. People who have a tendency to get to the top and want to rotate early, they need to exaggeratedly feel like they're leaning or they're working on a down feeling, down slope, exaggerated move. But this video is for my student that is a lateral mover. So we're gonna work on rotation. First, we're gonna work on getting that toe and that front foot spinning and our hips rotating out of the way. Then we're gonna be able to feel the pressure and rotate, feel the pressure and rotate, and then put it all together. We can make those full swings, feeling the pressure and rotating so we can get some rotation in that swing that already has that lateral movement.